Uh, the conversion steps, what we're going to cover today is simply uploading a CADWorks uh, PRJ file to SpecWorks. We're going to open the output in the Plant 3D spec editor. We're going to uh, process uh, user shapes that we find. So within CADWorks, uh, many of us over the years have used the user shape capability, which represent 3D blocks. So we'll, we'll address that as well. We're going to uh, create a, a spec file from, from the output. And ultimately, we're just going to get that into Plant 3D and, and route some pipe to see the results today. So hang with me as we, we go through this. And um, we're just going to go ahead and get started. And as Brian mentioned, we'll, uh, we'll have time at the end for, for Q&A. So please uh, put your questions in, and, and we'll get to as many of those as we can. All right, the first step here, I'm going to bounce over to my internet browser. I'm, I'm using Chrome, but uh, any, any browser, uh, HTML5 browser can be used. I've also got SocketWorks open. For those of you who are not familiar with SocketWorks, it is uh, an ECE web application that can be self-hosted. Um, even though it is a web app, uh, it's been designed to operate on any of our client's servers. But we also host um, a lot of content ourselves, whether we're doing work or our customers are using the, the SpecWorks product, which has been around for a while. I'm going to I'm looking at the SpecWorks interface today. It's very very simple, um, and I have one PRJ file that's already been processed here. It is our ElectroWorks specification. So just to give you a quick overview of what happens after you process a PRJ file with SpecWorks is you get a list of all the specs that exist in a PRJ file. In this case, we have conduit specs and cable tray specs because of its electrical nature. Uh, but once that is, is in place, then you can look at the parts within the spec or look at the groups within the spec. So if we click on the the parts here, we very quickly get a return of all the components that can fall out of a specification. And one of the things that SpecWorks is built for is looking for errors. So if I click on the global filter for errors, uh, we get a list of all the errors. In this case, we just have some errors or perhaps warnings that are associated with a branch table. So as, as you would expect, no errors in our ECE ElectroWorks product except for some things related to a branch table in this particular case. So um, that's the main core of SpecWorks is to look for errors and provide visibility and reporting capabilities. Um, the next facet of SpecWorks, which is now in the palette, is the ability to convert a PRJ to a plant 3D specification or catalogs. So I'm going to click the button here and start the process. I'm going to select a PRJ file. Uh, I'm browsing out here to our Office 365 directory. Uh, ECE is, has been very successful in operating with Office 365 and OneDrive to collaborate on projects. So um, bouncing into this, this directory here where I have a, a PRJ file all teed up and, and ready to go just so happens it's sitting next to an ElectroWorks PRJ file as well. So click the open button or select that and just execute the upload. And at this point, we're going to get a message that I am going to get an email with the output from the processor. So we're going to sit here and wait for that email to show up. Um, it'd be a great time to, to answer a few poll questions we have lined up for you. So Brian, if you want to get those poll questions going while we wait for the output of that processor. Yeah, of course, Bill. I'll launch the first poll question here to everybody. If you don't mind uh, taking a minute to uh, answer. Uh, first question, what is your preferred CAD platform for industrial piping? CADWorks Plant, AutoCAD Plant 3D, or other? Give everybody a few, uh, few seconds here to uh, input their uh, vote. Still got them coming in. All right, 79% uh, CADWorks and 33% Plant 3D, which I think uh, will contest to what we what we hear out there every day, right, Bill?
All right, I'm going to launch the second poll question here. Does your Autodesk subscription include AutoCAD Plan 3D, if you are aware? Just yes, no, or maybe. All right, give another second here. In the poll in here, you know, overwhelmingly 70, 70 plus percent uh, said it does include uh, AutoCAD Plant 3D. All right, Brian, uh, thanks for that. Um, thanks for the information and the feedback, folks. It really just kind of confirms what, uh, what the situation is in the marketplace. So um, with that, uh, we're gonna continue down the path here. Um, hopefully you all can see the results here. I've gotten two emails from SocketWorks. Uh, the first email that came in is actually Excel worksheets that represent the specs that were processed. So within the PRJ file, we had two specs, a CL150 and a CL300. The second email that comes in is actually gonna be the, the results of the conversion process from CADWorks to Plan 3 d uh, We get three files. In this case, we get uh, uh, two. Each one represents the, the specification, the 150 and the 300 respectively. And we also have a third file that's coming in. So one of the things that the SpecWorks processor is doing, it is compiling a global catalog off of the contents that exist in the individual specifications. So not only do you get spec content, but you also are building a global catalog at the same time, which we feel is, is invaluable uh, with, pipe spe with pipe specifications. I'm just gonna prey on one specification here, this, this 150 spec, and I'm gonna download that 150 spec. Once that spec is downloaded, I'm going to just simply transition over here to the Plant 3D spec editor. I've got the 2021 spec editor open, but it's not version specific. We could process with different versions of, of Plant 3D. So the first step is just simply to open that catalog. So I'm gonna use the file open to go browse for that catalog. It's, it's here in my downloads here, the 1153. I click on that, that catalog and in comes the catalog that was transformed from the PRJ file. If we just browse around a little bit, we can see the fidelity here that, that came through. Uh, valves, all the pictures are coming through, all the data that we could extract and transform from CADWorks is coming through, short descriptions, long descriptions, materials, all of that stuff. Um, also, we're drilling down into things like the top works even. So if we, we look at the valves that got transferred over, a lot of them had top works applied to them. And we can see that even the top works is coming across. So you don't have to transform that in a post processing activity. So very robust all the way down to actuators on the valves. Uh, I'm gonna pray on a couple more just really for demonstration purposes and get you thinking about things. And uh, one of those things are user shapes. So we do have a couple uh, meters in here. Um, the meters, if you notice when I click on them, the, the picture of the object goes away. Um, I'm gonna address that in a minute and bring that back into play. But if we look at the sizes that were transformed, we have uh, a six inch, a four inch, and an eight inch. So we have three sizes of, of flow meters or AKA user shapes that have been transformed. Now to get the 3D blocks transferred across to make user shapes work, we developed a, a CAD tool to make that happen. So I'm going to transition over to the CAD environment um, just for a second here and all this has to be done through the CAD environment. And all I have to do is go pick my catalog that I want to use and then just hit the process button. I'm pointing at the user shapes, the legacy user shapes. I'm pointing to an output directory where Plant 3D wants to have the, that content. And I've, I've given it the information it needs to work with in the transform catalog. So just hitting the process button. Uh, starts the process here. You can see these user shapes coming in and being processed one by one. There's user shape one, that was one of the meters. Here's user shape two, one of the meters. 
And uh, I guess I had a third one in here. Here's a, uh, I think this is a steam trap. So we've got uh, uh, user shapes that have, have been transformed. So just like that, we've completed that process. And if I bounce back over to the, the, the catalog and spec editor, um, I have to close and reopen the catalog to get the images to come through. Uh, we used to call those CAD quirks. We're not quite sure what to call them on the Plan 3D side, but I'm gonna go through that, that exercise of just simply closing and then reopening the spec editor because based upon what we can tell, um, it has to be done that way. So once I reopen the catalog here and I, I browse down to those, to those flow meters, let me get that in order again here. Um, meter, 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 here we go. Now we can see that those images are all automatically coming through, uh, not only for the overview, but also for the, the individual sizes. So we get a nice uh, graphic at the same time with the, the CAD tool side of things. Well, that really rounds out the transformation process. We're sitting here on a, on a catalog that represents a, a spec. So really all we need to do here is go create a new Plant 3D spec. I'm gonna call this CL150. And once the, the spec is created, uh, Plant 3D makes it very easy to go grab all the contents from a catalog and add those to the spec with a click of a button. So there we go. There are all of the components transformed with all of the long descriptions, just the way they would fall out in CADWorks. All right, so that was pretty easy. Now let's see it actually work in the Plant 3D environment. So I'm gonna bounce back over here to the Plant 3D environment. I, I have a project started here, um, just a simple default project. I have two specs that I cherry picked from the out of the box content. But what I wanna do now is, is go uh, copy that spec that I just created into the project. So let me go make that transaction. Here are all the, the specs, that spec that I created uh, came in here at 1157. Let me go ahead and pick that uh, CL150 spec and get that loaded. All right, so the CL150 now is part of my project. I can go pick on that CL150, make that active. A uh, couple ways to view the, the spec content. You, you have the, the palette, which has all of the, the content in it. Uh, another way to look at it is, is through the, the interface here with, with all the, um, the information. You know what I did? I, I forgot to save the spec. <laughs> Let me go ahead and, and save that spec. It was created, but I didn't save the content afterwards. So um, my pallets were empty. Let me go ahead and save that. And then within the environment now, we, we should check for updates. And hopefully with the updates, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the, the information to, to populate into that, that spec view palette. And there we go. So my bad on that folks, uh, gotta save before you get the data. So with that in place um, and the 150 spec active, we can just start drawing like we, we can with any other, any, any other part. So, here we go in Plant 3D, just drawing elbows and T's. Uh, we can go ahead and, and start picking on things like, like flanges. So here's a nice list of flanges. I can pick on a, a weld neck flange and, and drop a weld neck flange in. And it's gonna drop in the middle and, and act just like it would where it's gonna put in the mating components and adhere to all the rules that you've set up for your project for, for joints and, and, and all the conditions associated with fasteners. Um, 
even the user shapes are, are going to come across. So if we go down here and we, we go find our, our user shapes, they're, I think they were stuck under instruments. Yeah, here they are. So if we click on user shapes, we're going to drop in uh, user shapes. Oops, that one doesn't have the facing on it. So there's user shapes that came in. Change our size, we can go to a lower size. And I believe with a lower size, if I draw a pipe, uh, this spec was set up to, to have socket weld or, or threaded fittings come into play. So all of those uh, butt weld and socket weld fittings are coming across. Valves with top works are, are coming into play. So if we go and pick on, I think we have a gate valve here that um, has, has top works on it. Oops. That one doesn't. Let me find one that does. Here we go. Regardless of the size that I pick, Plant 3D is putting in, in the geometry and, and making the adjustments. So routing, ISOs, bills of materials, everything else associated with it, uh, pretty much a complete transformation of CADWORKS PRJ into Plant 3D specs. Um, with that, got one more poll question that we'd like to have you answer. And then after we get done answering that, or you get done answering that, we'll go ahead and start answering uh, the questions that you've put into the Q&A session today. Brian? Perfect. Thanks, Bill. All right, got the, the final poll question, like Bill said there. Uh, last question uh, that was just launched. Would you consider using AutoCAD Plan 3D now that a pipe spec conversion solution is available? Yes, no, maybe. A few more seconds here. All right. No, it's uh, really appreciate everybody's feedback there. Uh, almost 70% said they would. So, um, and then you know the the other 30% was a maybe. So, uh, appreciate everybody's feedback there. All right, Brian. Um, I was busy swinging the mouse and didn't pay attention to the questions. Would you help tee those up for me? Yeah, I got we got a few here. So. Um, before I get to it, just we still got some time, so anybody who hasn't or put a question in, please go ahead and do that, and we'll uh, we'll get to it if we can. Uh, first question, Bill: uh, Can you correct any customizations within SpecWorks before you convert to Plan 3D? A uh, great question. So um, the the CADWorks spec editor has to be used to make the corrections. SpecWorks is just a utility to identify those those corrections that need to be made, whether it's a, a missing variable or it's a it's a component that's not in the size range or whatever it is. But you would have to use the specification editors to make uh, changes to the content. Okay. Thanks, Bill. Uh Someone said a question, are spec works and socket works the same thing? So maybe just elaborating how, how spec, spec works works within socket works? Yeah, absolutely. So spec works enterprise is the core application. It is the web application and enterprise has, let's say 80% of what we offer within spec works, such as viewing, you know, P and ID data and marking up PDF drawings and, and all that type of stuff that spec works does. I'm sorry, SocketWorks does. SpecWorks is a module. We have a number of modules that we sell a la carte based upon how clients want to use the tool. So SpecWorks is just one of multiple modules that we make available to SocketWorks. Uh, most of our SpecWorks customers are just SpecWorks customers. They get a login and a username. They can log into SocketWorks and utilize the SpecWorks utility just by acquiring an annual subscription of SpecWorks from us. Cool, thanks Bill. Um, is there a limit to the specifications in the project file? We have a client that holds you know, 20 plus specs when converting. Uh, no, we've, we've built the, the utility to produce one or 100. Um, you know, usually there's some limitations on the CADWORKS side as to how many 
how many specs you want to carry in a PRJ file, but uh, Specworks is indifferent. It's a processor. It's going to do one after another. Awesome. Uh, what version of CADWorks specs can we convert? Uh, we've built the utility to function on CADWorks 2013 file formats all the way through the latest, which is you know version 2017 or version 2020 CADWorks. The, the PRJ format really has not changed for a couple of years, which has been great on the CADWorks side, but we're, we're processing all, all versions. Thanks, Bill. Uh, you showed off uh, the PRJ file uh, that was converted uh, with the catalog to the correct Plan 3D extension. So the question here would be, um, what about any of any of the custom fields that were uploaded? Uh, example, like a step file, would those type come through as well? Um, we we process all the custom fields. It's one of the reasons SpecWorks was was created for CADWorks was to build long descriptions because one of the features in CADWorks is to build a long description format where the, the variables of that, that format come or originate from the catalog. So uh, yeah, all custom fields that are found in long descriptions, short descriptions, or any form of part numbering, uh, we're picking all of that up and transforming all those custom fields. As long as they are, end up in a in, in a long description, short description, or one of the fields that can be customized like that. Perfect. Um, question about CAD tools there, Bill. So uh, the question was, uh, what is the program in the CAD environment for bringing over the user shape blocks? Yeah, uh, we presented CAD tools today. That is not a commercially available product. So um, ECE will have to be involved in the transformation of your user shapes. So that's an in-house utility today. Uh, we, we certainly have dreams and visions of making our CAD tools available to the marketplace, just like we've done with all of our other softwares. But at this point, uh, CAD tools is uh, an internal application and we would help you or assist our clients with the transformation of their user shapes and their, their CADWorks PRJ files as a service. Thanks, Bo. Still got them coming in here, so we got a couple minutes. Um, do the descriptions from CADWorks go to the Plant 3D family or size long descriptions? Yeah, great question. So we've got some, some folks out there with Plant 3D experience and there are definitely differences between the CADWorks long description methodology and the Plant 3D methodology. So uh, in CADWorks, we have one long description. In Plant 3D, there's basically two long descriptions. So on everything but user shapes, and top works, we are transforming the the long description in CAD works to the to the part family long description, and we're also transforming that same description to the size description. So uh, you get the same description that's in CAD works in both places on the Plan 3D side. All right, uh, last question here, Bill. Uh, do part numbers in the CADWorks catalog get captured in the conversion? Yes. Well, there you go. Easy answer there to the end. So that's all we have here today, Bill. Awesome. Uh, well, thanks so much. Your... In closing? Go ahead, Bill. Oh, I was just going to say thanks so much for spending time with us here this afternoon, and hopefully you saw enough content and enough reality that uh, – we're in the game to, to help you uh, be able to design on both platforms. Um, that's where we're at in the marketplace, and we welcome the opportunity to help everybody. Thanks again, everyone. Have a good rest of your day. Thanks, Bill. Thank you.